the back there too, right? Yeah, all three of them are uh, are competing. All three of them are getting reps right now. Uh, rolling with Spencer with the ones, but obviously. Uh, um, that's a fluid situation, you know, so we're in a production business that by the end of camp We're gonna look at the numbers uh, and whoever's the best dude is gonna get that job what about kickoff? kickoff so we haven't done uh, team kickoffs yet. We've just done some some charting on that um, But Monday is gonna be a big day for that. What do you like about Spencer? A lot uh, my, The biggest thing is that he's not a uh, like a typical kicker from what most people think of as a, as a kicker and a specialist. Like he is a very competitive young man. He's a multi-sport athlete, uh, super dialed into his craft, does not get bored or bogged down with me wanting to watch more film with him. Uh, he's definitely all about his craft. So I think just, you know, young, hungry, tough, grimy, local kid that's kicked in this, this weather that we have up here. Um, I mean, I, I love that whole room, but, but he, he's going to be special. Had the, the issues with his leg last year. Is that all behind him now? Yes, it is. And you can tell, you know, if you look at that last half of the season, you know, he goes two for two at Michigan. You know, we hit three or, three or four against that, that uh, red and white team on that other side. Uh, you know, he, he, he really came back that, that last half. Um, but, you know, in that room, every year is new. You know, every, near, every, every year is new. Everybody's up. Um, Competition breeds excellence, and so that's what we're going to have every single day in there. But yeah, but he is he is healthy from that, and uh, and he's got a, a good mindset right now. Bringing two long snappers through the portal, which you don't see very often. No. Talk about the competition that, that Nick and Claude have. Yeah, played. the wild times we live in, right? <laughs> so uh, obviously, new uh, when this, this multi-second Nick got in the in the portal, looked him up, saw him. Obviously, uh, I have a relationship with the special teams coordinator for the Bills. His head coach is the one that gave him the scholarship. You know, at William and Mary, and so there's a little bit of connection. Watched him, loved him. He's a bulldog. Uh, I'll tell you what. There's three. There's three reps that, that got him here. The first rep is uh, it's against a team that they were playing. The guy bombs it down, um, and he's kind of tossing with this guy the whole way down, like just a little pit bull all the way down the hash. Goes to the sideline. Love it. Okay. Next play down. Uh, the ball bounces out and goes out of bounds and he turns around and it looks like he's dog cussing somebody But he's given all these props to his punter. So like awesome loves up his teammates super intense And then the last one goes down and uh, they down it on the one right and so some guy tips it It barely hits right there. Then this other cat comes in grabs it. They down it So everybody mugs that second guy, right? But the guy who made the play that first guy down that touched it You see Nick sprint right to him and I mean he about tackled him in the end zone and I thought Yes, great at his skill Hyper attention to detail, violent, loves the action, loves his teammates, just an enthusiastic little dude. And like, if you're playing snapper and you're, and you're the, got that mentality, like you're gonna fit in just fine here with me. Uh, the other guy, Claude, you know, we have this camp and I, and I keep saying it, our specialist camp is not a doggone uh, fundraiser. It's not a money maker for us. We do good, we have a lot of kids that come to it, but we're there to pull talent out of it. Um, I know the guy that Claude snaps for privately. Um, I've had one of his snappers at a different school, so I know the background that he comes from. Um, and he's just kind of a quiet, blue collar kid. Uh, did well at camp, he's done well here. Yeah, so we've got two here, obviously Bennett, and then uh, we, got our, we got our Aussie, right, Keelan, and uh, both of them competing at a high level, you know, again, best man gets a job, but, but Keelan is, uh, I've got a relationship with his coaches back in Australia. Uh, again, this room is different now. It is a competitive room. Uh, he's a super serious dude, uh, cares about his training. Ro loves him in the weight room. That should say something about him. You know what I'm saying? Um, he can, he, he's got a lot of clubs in his bag with that kick of his, um, and he's self-motivated. I can coach him really, really hard. He matches my intensity. He matches my attention to detail. Uh, good leader in the room, just a great kid. And, uh, you know, if his golf game keeps getting better, he's going to be a heck of a golfer, too. How valuable is it when you're a special teams coordinator, that connection with Australia? Just, you know, you never know when you're going to find an Aussie punter. Yeah. Uh, and obviously, you've had two of them back to back. Yeah. And for me, like, I just love talent, right? So, like, it, it's Aussie, it's US, it's just the, the talent. I love talent. But those kids grow up playing you know Australian rules football they get used to running around and kicking and if you look at like the last top punters in the country the last 10 years many of them are from that background um, 
but you know they're a little bit older they uh they have that background especially if they're from that the the pro kick world you know i have a, a tight relationship with those guys i know they're well coached um i know that they coach them very very hard uh and yeah i mean you know they're just a bunch of a great bunch of dudes a lot to still sort out in the return game yeah where are you at there uh, I don't know why they have me got me talk to you guys so early in camp because it's like I said it in spring I'm like oh it's day two now I'm like okay well now it's day three um, obviously I love our talent we have a ton of them uh, I mean you see the lines at the beginning of practice there's you know 20 of them in the punt line 20 of them in the kickoff line and they're going back and forth so now it's time to start whittling it down um, young guys old guys veterans and I'm gonna say this too everyone keeps talking about it with the returners I will say this so most respected people in special teams, you look at like Beamer Ball, had starters on offense and defense as returners. You look at guys like Pete Lembo, starters at offense and defense as returners. You guys like uh, like LeVar at Iowa, right? H heck of a special teams coach. Like number one defensive player was a returner. So we're gonna put our best player back there and it might be a freshman, it might be a junior, it might be a six year senior. But the best dude that gives us a chance to get a free first down or more or be explosive back there, we're gonna put him back there and he's gonna, he's gonna try and help us win. Bonding, uh, I think it was last week. Yeah. Was at your house. I was on simulator. Oh Just, yeah. Can you talk about that camaraderie that you guys have in the group? Yeah. Yeah. So I'm from the other side of the train track, so uh, I can't afford a thirty thousand dollar golf simulator. So I found uh, bits and pieces of ways to make one, and it is unbelievable. And uh, uh, I don't know that it's helped me with my golf game, but it sure is fun having the boys over. Uh, yeah, it's one of those things, man. Uh, you know, this game is hard, and it should be. That's what makes it so so beautiful and so awesome. Uh, but you better have a relationship with your guys, especially if you're going to coach. Like, I coach my guys super hard. So I better, uh, through my actions off the field, uh, get permission to coach them that way. You know what I'm saying? Um, I'm going to hold them to a high standard. They tell me they want to they want to compete at this level. I'm going to hold them to that level. Um, and so it, it is just as important for me count the reps and coach them up an individual to uh to have them over man have some fellowship cook them a meal where it's not a catered meal or, or a calf meal although that new calf we have is unbelievable um but you know what i'm saying like a home cooked meal they get to see me you know messing with my son and, and swinging the golf balls at the golf simulator and just talking trash and having a good time outside of outside of the lines and then when we get in the lines now we have that relationship it's kind of like having uh you know your, your younger brothers or something you get you get permission to kind of hammer them a little bit and uh, and they respond because everything's out of love right and everything's out of hey we all want to get to where we want to get we want to chase and win championships so that's the standard um, you hold me to that standard as your coach i'm gonna hold you to that standard as a player rj lopez uh, has kicked in some big games i'm guessing you just never have enough of those guys on the roster right yeah i think one of the uh one of the benefits with him is exactly that like he's a guy that's done it so sometimes when you reach into the portal especially in the specialist world you're getting guys that maybe were really good but that like top guys is, is holding on and so they're trying to go somewhere and get playing time well this cat's had playing time right and so uh the big thing for him is to take his game to another level stay consistent you know and dance that ball around the yard when it's kickoffs and compete like heck when it's field goal time Thanks, Coach. Thanks, Coach. Appreciate y'all.